Brothers and sisters of the celestial energy, just brother Wilson, what's going on, guys? Um, I hope you all soaked in that uh, last video talking about true math. Because one thing you must understand, understand, overstand is that that those mathematical equations, those symbols are the same symbols that make up your carbon-based body. You know, before that, we had the, the message, the video, you know, the secrets of the cosmos are within you. Those mathematical, those ancient mathematical equations, those symbols are a part of the secrets of the cosmos. And you must understand, understand, overstand that the energies that are within you are highly uh, multidimensional. We're the only beings on the planet who can think and things happen just like that because we are literally cosmic dust when those thoughts come from your um your soul and your mind what happens is those symbols though you can't see them they begin to reverberate all around you they begin to move and they 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 spin and 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 um, and twirl and move at extremely high rates of speeds. So you're nothing but pure math. So all those symbols are who you are, and this is what makes up your metaphysical makeup, your carbon makeup. The everything that you are is the everything that is the cosmos. And everything that is nature is everything that you are. We're the only beings on this planet, on this realm. And this reality and alternate realities who carry these powerful symbols that we talked about earlier today. You see those symbols and the thing about it is these inorganic beings, they know about those symbols. They know about those symbols. Because if they didn't know it, they wouldn't put it in the cartoons and on the movies. They know about the symbols, but they don't know the magnitude of the the uh, 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 of the power behind this, these symbols. All right, they don't know the magnitude, and this is what you call going into a cosmic mindset. When you begin to understand these symbols and you begin to use these symbols on a daily basis, you're going to find yourself. Um, going deeper into the quantum realms. You're going to find yourself going into places where no one else can go. Just by possessing these symbols within your soul, your enemies, and your enemies are all those who do not look like you. Because I guarantee you, brother, sister, I guarantee you that they have nothing to benefit you. Your enemies will fear you just by you possessing these symbols in your soul. All you got to do is just just go back to that page, to that to that um, message. True math. Look at those symbols, study them, write them down, because these symbols are ancient, 
And I'm pretty sure these inorganic beings know who I am. They already know who I am. Because I had already been doing these symbols, you know, before. Especially when I went on Facebook and started posting everything that we were going to be doing. The dragon's fire, the, the dragon's energy, all the different things that was going to happen with the sun. I mean, I've, there's so many of them. And everything is manifesting. We just had to wait for the energy. Those symbols, each one of those symbols represent a frequency, a vibration, an energy. Each one of them represents magnetism, electricity. Each one of them are designed for our bodies, our spirits, our souls. So we must understand, understand, overstand, brothers and sisters, that this all belongs to us. And our enemies have done so much. These, these so-called white people, these and their needs, N-E-D-E-S, is who they are. They're the needs. Because all humans, all humans came from the needs. I gotta give you that, that video so you guys can see that breakdown. And you know the thing about it, it's supposed to be just a science fiction video game. The Elder Scrolls, which you gotta understand, understand, under overstand, somebody spilled beans. They wanted you to think it was a video game, but in reality, they were telling the entire Everything. I mean, they even went and, and dug down into the DNA of who they are, where they come from. All right. So the key in this is to understand, understand, overstand that these powerful symbols represent you. And it's important that you begin to understand the power behind them, the power and the energy behind all of these symbols so that you can begin gathering different frequencies and vibrations dealing with them. I mean, when you, when you start writing these symbols, and remember you gotta start, you gotta write them from right to left, not left to right. And when you begin writing these symbols, there's a certain energy that's going to come over you. There's a certain power that's going to come over you. And this energy and power is designed to help you to become a more powerful primordial deity. Because this is who we are. We're primordial deities. We are... The, the 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 everything we are the everything that are without us on this planet that will be nothing but we have to get past the the foolishness and the stupidity of our enemies who has this idea that if we think that they're going to be powerful, that they can be powerful, then they will be powerful. So you got to understand, understand, understand that they're trying to get into the science of our psyche. If we can, if, if we can get these black people to think that we're powerful, then we already know that, you know, whatever they think comes to life. And we can be powerful. No, it don't work like that. If we think ourselves to be powerful, then therefore, within ourselves, we become that power, that energy, that force. And henceforth, we become more powerful. And this is where we as the original beings must understand the symbology of these different ancient 
mathematical equations and symbols will help to uh, 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 bring about that power. It will help to bring about that power, make that power become erect, erect. Make that power, you know, when something is erect, it's standing up strong. Nobody can bring it down. So these symbols will help that power become erect. Therefore, you will begin to eradicate your enemies and they will be like, well, you know, hey, you know, no, no negotiations. Their shit is falling. It's falling. So when you begin to, oh, when you all begin to go deeper into the mindset of who you are, and you know, we were talking about these, these symbols, and you begin to embrace these symbols, and then you begin to understand what they stand for. And I can tell you this right here. The symbols that we did in that uh, video, True Math, there is nothing in the English language that can explain what they're saying because they are frequencies and vibrations. And what do frequencies and vibrations do? They multiply. They divide, they add on to each other, but they never subtract. Something to think about. Something to think about. All right, brothers and sisters. So the whole key in this is to understand, understand, overstand that these symbols are what make your, your body, what makes your soul your soul is nothing but pure math. When you're talking about a black hole, you, you're talking about infinite mathematics. When you're talking about this carbon-based body, you're talking about infinite mathematics. So these symbols are nothing but ancient mathematical symbols. I'll be posting every now and then. Write a couple symbols, and I want you guys to write it. And once you begin writing it, you're going to start feeling that. And then from that point, you're going to start writing even more. This is what changes the entire scope of our realm as well as our planet. We begin to dive deeper into higher mathematics, into more advanced mathematics, into more advanced physics, and it's all through symbology, we'll begin to take our planet and our realm into other places that mankind refuses to go. They think CERN is powerful. CERN ain't got shit on us. All these brothers and sisters running around here. I saw a... Uh, <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, Beyond 5D. I saw Beyond 5D in this video, and he was did the video about um, CERN. And talking about, oh, they're talking about, oh, CERN is going to do this. Uh, CERN ain't shit. CERN ain't got shit on us. CERN uh, literally works through mechanics. We don't work through mechanics. We are the atoms of this planet. So everything that we do literally moves the planet, moves this realm, moves nature, everything we do. CERN can't do that. CERN ain't got shit on us. It's like when, uh, 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 uh what was that? Uh, Denzel Washington. <laughs> He, play. he said, King Kong ain't got shit on me. CERN ain't got shit on us. We move 
planet through our awakening.